Good morning. Welcome to the morning chat. Here with, according to Akara. Who's Akara? That's me. How y'all doing? Happy Eve before Christmas Eve? Is that how it goes? No. This is my Friday for work. I hope that the rest of you have like a half day today or the day off or you've taken the day off. I look so forward to not having to get up at this hour tomorrow. And even if I do naturally get up at this hour tomorrow, I'll roll my behind over like a, a roast pig and continue sleeping. <laughs> but at any rate, thank you all for watching the morning chat. I really appreciate all those who watch now live and those who watch after. Afterwards, the, the after watchers and those who listen to me on the podcast on um, Google Podcast and on Twitter Podcast, my podcast on Twitter, or actually through Podbean is according to akara.podbean.com. I appreciate everyone that just, you know, I entertain, I educate, I celebrate anyone that's here, anyone that I promote, and I really, really, really appreciate you all. Um, I um, want to start today off with uh, shouting out my Bego Live folk that have chimed in. Oh, oh no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Okay, so Bego, I'm gonna have to start them over. I was just trying to shout out those people. That was on my Bigo Live, and it and, and it hooked up. It, it gave me a um, like a live feed of the people, and I was like, "Whoa, that's not what I wanted." <laughs> uh, let me go live again. Uh, no, I mean, you know, I don't have any problem talk. Yeah, I do. I'd be lying to y'all if I told y'all. Pause. That's that theme song. Sorry, y'all. Bigo Live. I tried to do something and it just kind of went kind of weird. Um, but y'all right back in time. Ah, you know that song. It's Thursday, y'all. Ah, come on. Rock it out with me. Just do the shoulders like this if you're sitting down. If you're laying down, just bob your head. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 yeah. So what we're going to do is the day song. So we're going to do, uh, it's Thursday, it's Thursday, it's Thursday, yeah. It's Thursday, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, yeah. Woo, get your hands up in the air. Jazz hands, move those fingers around. It's Thursday, yeah. Let's celebrate, we woke up today. Not everybody woke, waked up today, woke up today, come on. It's Thursday, get your energy up, uh, 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 come on. It's 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 Thursday. Come on. Yeah. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Yeah. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday. Well, okay, so... <laughs> Hi, again, so let me shout out my Bigo Live. I don't know what happened. I think I joined, had someone join and I pushed the wrong thing. Bigo Live is really good at, you know, making that happen. So I'd like to thank the original Hot Tots. And she says, or he says, 
Ha! Hi, girl! Hi! Oh, hi, boy! Hi, y'all! <laughs> you know, I don't want to say the wrong pronoun. Now, I love everybody, and I respect whatever you identify as. Um, Archie, question mark, star. How are, I mean, how are you, my friend? I am doing good. I'm here with y'all. I woke up. I'm happy. I'm joyful. Joy to the world. Okay, anyway. Um, now, I'm going to say something that I didn't, I just, that's going to contradict what I just said. I'm happy. I'm joyful. Well, for a moment, I was not that way. I turn on for the cameras. I'm going to be honest with you. I turn on for the cameras. Off cameras, I wasn't all right. You know what I'm saying? And I spent a little time, and the Lord realized and showed me my flaws, or showed me I should still be thankful. Because some things didn't happen the way I wanted it to happen. Um, but it's all good. You know, I'm here, I'm alive, and I am very thankful. Now, happy and joyful, I'm working on it, okay? So, to answer your question authentically, I'm thankful I have joy. I am joyful because joy is not happiness. But I am working on happiness and um, on happiness, okay? So, at any rate, let me start y'all off with the morning lift. Well, as you can see, I have my Vegas hoodie on, which is brown. And so I think I'm going to go for my Gadaja. Gaday, whatever. Don't, don't, don't. I'm not. I'm not going to even. Gadaja, Gadaja. It's not Gadaiva with a V. It's Gadaja Velveteen. I know that wasn't it. I don't feel like Sahara Desert on my lips, so we're going to get this Gadeja chocolate. Oh, it's not even Gadeja. I've been saying it. Giandija. Giandija. <laughs> Giangia, it's a chocolate, it's a, form, it's a brown, okay? It's some funny name that I, wording is hard, so is spelling, so, you know, whatever. Shout out to Tahir Moore. I know you ain't listening to me, but if you do, I watch spelling, um, wording is hard. I am hoping that you'll do the spelling is hard, that I love that. I love it. I find out new words that I realize not everybody knows. Now, as I'm um, before I apply, let me remove my other lipsticks and my other lips from my purse and put it back in my makeup bag. Okay, because I promise you, I have all my other. I just throw it in my bag and, and forget about it. I forget about it. I got to put my favorite back where it's supposed to be in my bag. Okay. And take the one that I'm putting on this morning and put it in my bag for reapplication later on. So this is the whatever geodesia chocolate. I don't know. But it's a brown by Velveteen. It is my right now at this as it stands right now of all the lipsticks that I've gotten from between the Dollar Tree and the and the beauty supply store, Velveteen is 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 right now my favorite. The second is Wet and Wild, and these are cheap lipsticks. These aren't Mac, you know. So here we go. Boom. You barely could tell the difference, and I like that because I want a more natural look today. And my beautiful 
chocolateness is accentuated. Can barely tell that I have it on. Okay. But now I put this in the purse to reply later. So, now that we got the morning lip over with, let's talk about the morning sip. So, this morning, because I feel so much like a lady, I, got, I am doing twinnings, Lady Grey, Lady Grey tea, and of course my yogi tea, mango ginger. I'm almost out. I have to go and get me some more teas. So that I can keep on bringing y'all my morning tea, huh? Either that, you're going to get coffee, or you're going to... The morning sip is water. <laughs> so, um, so I blended those two teas in my According to a Car mug. I don't know if you can see it there. On the front, it has my logo. On the back, it has where you can find me. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so now that we got the morning lip and the morning sip well, well I haven't done my morning sip yet I just told you what I was gonna be sipping on so hold on uh, I really feel like ginger mango makes it so much better but Lady Grey is just a lady <sighs> T be a lady today. Okay, anyway. So, the morning sip has been done. Let's talk about the morning news snips. Uh, you know, I tried to do that. You know, that news. The old school, uh, uh, um, whatever. Anyway. So, on uh, the world news on Ruder, and I hope I'm saying her name right, but whatever. Ruder, uh, the um, South Africa study offers hope when it comes to the Omicron and the um, variant and just the spread of of um, these variants of COVID. Uh, look at it on this. I got all my information. Well, I didn't tell you about my news snippets. So you know. My news snippets I get from YouTube news channels that they have on YouTube. Not new YouTubers, but actual news channels that now have uh, YouTube channels. And I take... I, I, I write down the um, the headline that they have or the title they have of their video. And I may watch a little bit and give you a little bit, but I'm going to always direct you to watch it and make your own opinion. But this is according to Akara, so I'm going to give my opinion on what I heard, you know. so But South Africa Studies offers hope in the spread of COVID-19 and the, uh, um, the new variant Omicron, Omicron, or Omicron, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, they took from studies of October, November uh, data on the Omicron and compared it to the August and September data in, for, for the Delta strain. And they're finding that 80% less are likely to be hospitalized and the Omicron is less severe or no more severe than the Delta. Not to say that it's okay, you can get it, you won't die. It just says you won't go to hospital, it's not severe, but hey, who wants to be sick? Okay, not me. So my opinion on it, this is good news, and I'm so happy that South Africa figured this out. And you will find the same information, um, I saw it on several different news channels, on YouTube, the Bloomberg says mentions the same thing, and uh, CNBC. I could be wrong. Also, um, had the same a similar thing that says talks about COVID. Also, with my news snippets, I also try not to 
do a bunch of COVID stuff. Y'all get that all the time. You hear it all the time, okay? I am not really trying to do it, but unfortunately, a lot of the stuff on the news is is that. Okay, going on, Ruta also reports that Hong Kong University removed the Tianium, Tianium statue, a.k.a. the Tower of Shame. This tower was uh, created, this art piece was created to represent the pro-democracy -democ pro protesters who died at the hands of the Chinese authorities in 1989. Um, they, it's just, yeah, you know, to me, I saw the statue, it just looked like a bunch of bodies molded together in clay, and it's scary looking, and it's very ominous, if I want to call it that, it's just very, uh, you know, who wants to remember people who, you know, like that die, you know what I'm saying? And they had to remove it, and the person who owned it was like, well, you know, make sure y'all don't fuck it up, or I'm coming for you. So, they removed that. Uh, also, in the Bloomberg Quick Take Now on YouTube, they, um, they report that the World Health Organization, a.k.a. who? 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 <laughs> Uh, warns blanket booster programs may prolong the pandemic. Now, I could go into my opinion about it, but it was just a little bit too much. My brain hurts. I didn't want to go into that. Go look it up on the Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Look it up um, and form your own opinion on what you think because it was a lot of stuff that it, eh, whatever. Um, the boosters is something, uh, it has something to do with, um, it's not going to help if you have a country that has a high vaccination rate of over 40%. And I, this, I, I'm paraphrasing. And then there's countries that are not fully, you know, have a high vaccination rate and are more likely to get this get COVID in any strain and they really need it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, the people that can get it is getting it, but the people who really need it isn't and don't even have a booster to help out. They're not even at high risk. You know, like America, we love I know you want to say we have, we are not at even close high risk compared to smaller undeveloped countries. So I get what he's saying. But, you know, but form your own opinion. Go listen to it more in-depthly. I didn't really le listen to it in-depthly because I was trying to get the other news snippets. Now, moving on to national news, CNN reports um, the January 6th House Committee is looking to interview the top Trump ally, Jim Jordan. Um, they, they claim uh, allegedly, or per the, the news snippet, uh, that, that Jim spoke to Trump several times on January 6th on the, the, when they rioted the Capitol. Crazy ass folks. I said what I said. Commit, uh, the committee wants to know what Trump was doing in, in the White House when this was happening. Was he watching? Did he know? Could he have stopped it? Yes. The answer is yes. Okay. Yes. You could have. Um, the Trump ally is re refusing to comply. Which to me, and most people, like if he doesn't re comply, it, it implies guilt that you knew, you've talked to him, he was trying to delay the count and to officialize the end of his his tenure as the president Trump was. Um, but the, the people, the allies, especially Jim Jordan, and one, uh, I think it was uh, MSNBC or CBS, one of them report had, had one of the committee, um, um, the, the January 6th House committee 
group was saying he moonwalk, he's moonwalking his way out, trying to say, but claiming that he didn't have nothing to hide back then, and now he's moonwalking himself out of the situation. <laughs> That's what we call backpedaling and pussy popping. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> they backpedaling, pussy popping. Okay, and the M MSNBC reports the FDA approves Pfizer's COVID pill as Omicron surges. Um, and they had uh, this chick on here named Lori Garrett. She's a real downer. She was like, uh, unfortunately... Uh, it's not available, highly available, and blah, blah, blah. And Fauci says that um, it's a really hard pill to make. She was just saying everything to not promote this new COVID treatment pill. So basically how it works, and I spoke on it yesterday, is um, from another uh, article where it's not meant to prevent it is meant the covid pill is meant to treat it once you got it and this pill is to be taken as soon as possible as soon as you feel like you might be sick you understand kind of like you use your mom's recipes when your nose gets stuffy and you get you feel in the flu coming on you take you take the tussin and you have you start making the uh, uh hot toddy Cause you don't feel good and you, you know what I'm saying? You feel a little congested. That's, it's like that. That's what it's supposed to be used for. It is not as a prevention. At the same time, I will convince, tell you also still take prevention. Um, wear your mask, um, stay six feet apart from people you don't know. Um, make your own choices whether you're going to how you're going to protect yourself and your family okay you know still wash your hands you shouldn't have never been not washing your hands people you should never and there's no reason why you should be all up in somebody's personal space a lot of the stuff is like well why would someone be all up in my personal space though six feet that's that's personal space to me you that close, you are making love to me. Hello? At any rate, moving on on C C uh, CNBC, <laughs> President Joe Biden extends the moratorium on student loans till May 1st. It was subdued. The more, basically, you don't have to pay your student loans. And you won't get any penalty. Um, and it was supposed to end January 31st. But now it has been extended to May 1st due to the rise of the Omicron uh, variant. Um, so, moving on. And I'm going to tell you, you know, this is, according to Akar, it's just interesting how, as I was going through these news snippets, I'm going to tell you what I feel later because I want to move on to local news and then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to wrap it up with how I feel about some things. It just seems a little, it's just, you know, local news, CBS 46 reports progress on supply chain issues are coming about and the way they are kind of helping out with the supply chain issues and the um, uh, congestion at the ports here in, in Atlanta uh, for the Savannah port where people shipments come in is they're doing a pop-up port here in the Atlanta metropolitan area over there in Old Fourth Ward over there um, right off of the cab where they have the train yard you know where it is well over in that area what they're doing is their the shipments that are that are in um that they can't store at in Savannah they're moving it here via train and stocking them here it just gets a gets the supplies 
that your store has and so on and so forth that so that it gets a little closer to the merchant who is selling these products and been waiting for them. Uh, 11 Alive News reports that Senate bill aimed at eliminating absentee ballot drop boxes was opposed by several Georgia counties. So basically there was a bill out there and they was trying to get rid of all the drop boxes, which makes zero sense at all, unless you're trying to make sure that certain people don't vote. Okay. Now imagine you have an absentee ballot and you forgot to put it in the mail. So what do you do? You can't, you know, what do you do? It is so much convenient to drop it in the in my first absentee ballot back in 2020, 2020 I dropped that bad boy right in the box. Bloop. Right at the um police station where there was one. But they're trying to get they they're really trying to get the Republicans are really trying to win back the state. They really don't like the fact that we turned blue not purple, this past election. Moving on, um, Atlanta uh, Alive News again. Okay, like they run the, the, the local news, don't they? They report that Atlanta Police Authentic, I mean, Authentic Athletic League and the 911 Center brings Christmas cheer to a family of seven. Um, this family was nominated by the Atlanta Police Athletic League to bring Christmas, bring them gifts. They did not mention the names of the, the family, uh, the last names of the family, but I like to end it on a good note as far as all my new snippet. Police given to um, those in, in, in need um, so that they can have a good Christmas. And when need, it wasn't they didn't bring them a bag of food, they brought them toys. So that they can say, oh, look what I got for Christmas. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm going to end. I, I saw, saw when, as I was looking at the news snippets from YouTube, on the worldwide news, we're hearing that Omicron is not that severe and a lot of people are not going to the hospital due to the Omicron variant. But then I get to the local news and the national news, and they're like, oh, numbers are rising. Hospitalizations due to the vid is getting back to where it was. But, but, but they just did a study and say that it's like 80% of people are not going being hospitalized. Well, did they say it was the people with the jab? No. It says it is no more severe than the Delta. In other words, you're not dying. But at any rate, who am I to talk? What can I say? Who am I? Who am I? Okay, I'm just according to a car. I'm just saying. I mean, if you see what I see and you look at the world news and you look at the local news and the national news, you can see how it is like really they, they are panicking over Omicron. Meanwhile, the study saying that it's not severe and that was well, not as severe as it's no more severe than Delta. And people are not getting hurt. People are not getting um is not getting um hospitalized due to that variant. So Riddle me that. So at any rate, I um, that's all I really have for you. Um, get the news. Go to YouTube if you have YouTube. Or look it up on your computer if you have a computer. You have one. If, it's, if you're looking at this on your phone, you have a computer in your hand, look it up. And find out these news informations for yourself. The snippet wasn't meant to bring you the news, like a breaking news. It's just here to spark your interest in some things that I saw interesting and for you to research it yourself. Okay? 
that what I, my new snippets aren't aren't in lieu of you knowing. It's just so that you it was sparking interest for you to look into it yourself. All right. Um. So you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful holiday. If you don't catch me tomorrow or on or Saturday, I'm not doing nothing. Christmas. I actually am not. I mean, like I might come on and um celebrate on Big O Live or something, but yeah, no, no. Um, catch me on um tomorrow. I'm still gonna do a morning chat in the morning. Um, on Christmas Day. I'm I'm gonna probably come on and just be like Merry Christmas, everybody. Um on Sunday, yeah. Yeah, on Sunday, I will do a special bedtime story where I read um, Project 1619, um, 1619 Project, the illustration, actually read it, boom, with a cocktail. Hello. At any rate, so that's all. Now, y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy this half day for some of you all, or a light day for some of you all, or no work day for some of you, some of you all. Enjoy your day. Enjoy it and be thankful for what you have. Okay? Remember, love yourself. Love your neighbor. And stay authentic all the while. All right? You all have a good one. Bye.